All right, what I start by saying, Brakatha Yahawu, Brakatha Yaharasha, Brakatha Yahawu, Brakatha Yaharasha, Kahalau Yahawu Ba Hashem Yaharashai, Kahalau Yahawu Ba Hashem Yaharashai, Ba Hashem Rakak Wadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles at Great Most and the Tumina's doctrine in truth and sincerity. Shalom to the elect. The Heavenly Father's name is Yahawu, which means he is or he exists. Ba Hashem, in the name of his only begotten Son, who the world even calls Jesus Christ. We know his name to be Yahavashai, which means he is the deliverer, he is the savior for the Hebrew Israelites, from the pedigree of your father. Ba'ashim in the name of the Rokha Kodash, which means the Holy Spirit, that's able to give us the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding of who we are, which are the true Hebrew Israelites. Your so-called Negro, so-called Latino, so-called Native American, or of the speckled bird, looking like the other nations, and your spirit bear witness with our spirit that we are the children of Yahab Ba'ashim Ashai. You could be one of the elect. Shalom. We would discontinue from our heritage because we went all following after false gods and false idols, not following the law, statute, commandments that was given to us by our forefathers. And because of these offenses, we were sent into captivity. But through our Lord, Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, being that perfect sacrifice in the flesh to the Heavenly Father, he's been given all power to be able to sit on the right hand side of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, to be able to open the seals of this book, to be able to give the understanding to the disciples, the apostles, the prophets, and the men on down, to be able to wake us up with this word before the said destruction and with that knowledge wisdom understanding we're able to know who our oppressor is which is esau edom esau means wasted away is and they are the biblical edomites that it speaks about in the scriptures the wicked which would be the so-called white men of today the rothschilds the rockefellers the oppenheimers the duponts the warburgs the shifts the ones that would have the fatness of the earth control of the monetary system be able to deceive the nations with their enchantments and they would rule with the great sword. And with that great sword comes many different teeth. You have their military, but you also have where they're able to push forth their enchantments through their tele vision to be able to control the masses, uh, you know, making them docile as far as showing things re repetitively over um, and um, bringing them in a gross darkness. But the Lord has shined a great light of understanding to his servants, the prophets and the believers that are going to believe in this word, believe in Yahweh Shem Shai. And they're going to be able to be redeemed through their belief and through their faith and through their suffering. Okay. So, and with that, um, again, with that knowledge, wisdom, understanding, we also know that there's going to be a lot of uh, psyops from Esau, Edom, the so-called so white man. Okay. There's going to be a lot of, um, you know, uh, pressure from below, um, you know, order out of chaos. Okay. Um, you know, pressure from below, pressure from above. Okay. Um, where... Esau Edom has infiltrated, um, you know, certain programs or has, you know, um, paid for certain programs to be able to get our people enchanted, to be cardinal, okay, to to um, to lust after the things of that Esau Edom has, okay, of the wicked, okay, going into you know idol worship, going into you know worshiping of money, you know, following after the ways of the wicked, okay. So this lesson is going to be centered around. This article right here, it says the SVB, SVB, which is the Silicon Valley Bank, gave $74 million to Black Lives Matter and explains a lot about the bank's collapse. OK, so we know that this bank, you know, uh, collapsed and that created a, a domino effect with these other banks, which is leading right into Revelation 13 and 16 down to 18. OK, the Karagma, the C-Hip or Esau Edom. OK, wants to implement a device like a rice grain inside of your hand or your forehead so you can be able to control you and track your every movement. You know what you say, um, where you go through a carbon footprint, you know what you say through a social credit system, uh, social credit score. OK, and you it will control what you're buying and selling through a central banking digital currency, which will be, um, you know, governed by a blockchain, which will be centralized. That's why when they speak about a great reset. OK, that's what they're speaking about. And ultimately, that's their new world order, the Novus Order Sequorium, OK, which is on the back of your dollar bill. That's all going to go to not. OK, but to get to that point or to get to the fatness of their sufficiency, they're going to be coming out with all sorts of enchantments. But there is no enchantment on the hopeful elect. OK, and that word black, OK, um, means void of light. OK, and there's no such thing as black or white. That's a, a, a social construct that Esau Edom put in place because white means purity and black means void of light. Okay. And what they did is to, to make themselves Esau Edom, the synagogue of Satan, so-called white man to make himself above, um, the Israelites, you know, far as in the eyes of the simple. Okay. He put that negative connotation of black. 
Okay, you always hear about the Black Plague. You know the the Gothics wear black. Okay, Black Death. Okay, it's always a negative connotation. Okay, and white again means purity. Okay, Lebanon. Okay, and that's actually who the uh, the Hebrew Israelites are. We are the light. We are the truth. Okay, we are that that um, you know that light that shines in a dark place. Okay, which is this truth. But those that have the truth, because our people have gone wicked ways. Okay, because also that Black Lives Matter um, is funded by George Soros, is funded by the elites going into where Esau Edom infiltrated, you know, the, the Black Panthers. And again, black means void of light. No one's black or white. That's a social false social construct that Esau Edom put in place. Okay, but I'm just going on the, you know, far as how the world is. Okay, they use our people to be able to push certain agendas. Okay. And that's what they're doing with this, um, you know, uh, Black Lives Matter, which is connected to these banks, which is connected to Esau Edom, because he would have the fatness of the earth, okay, which is the, the resources, the stout, okay, to be able to um, deceive the nations, to be able to, you know, give them uh, money through bribery, okay? Let me get a quick scripture. This is um, Job 15 and 34, for the congregation of the hypocrites shall be desolate, and fire shall consume the tabernacles of bribery, okay? And that's what they do. They'll bribe our people. I'm going to, when you get into the article a little bit more, okay, these banks, you know, funded uh, BLM, okay, which is nothing but, a, um, it's similar to Antifa, okay, fund these different groups to go in these different cities and create chaos, you know, putting bricks down and then uh, paying people to be able to destroy their own community, okay? And what that leads to is it puts a, um, a category of people. And that's what they're trying to do is put us all in a category. That's what Esau likes to do. He likes to label people. Okay. But he doesn't want to label us Hebrew Israelites because he knows that's that's our true power. Okay. So he labels us black. You know, he labels us Latino. He labels us Native American, which these are all proverbs and bywords. These will be um, the curses that will be put upon our people um, because we walked in, in the ways of the wicked. Okay, we were falling after false gods and false idols, right? Oh, let's get this word hypocrite, okay? Strong's H, 2611. Hanaf. Hanaf. Hanaf, okay, in the Hebrew, right? Hypocritical, godless. And that's exactly what Esau Edom is. Going back to Cain, where Cain's face... Um, you know, Yahabah Shimra Hashai's face is turned away from Cain, which is the wicked. And Esau Edom is nothing but a, um, a reincarnation of Cain, okay? Coming in the same spirit as the wicked. Coming in the same spirit um, of that, um, you know, that that um, that snake in the garden, okay? That serpent in the garden, okay? It's the same spirit. It was a man, okay? And that spirit is Esau Edom, which is the wicked, okay? Godless, profane. Going into Hebrews uh, 12, okay, speaks about... Um, you know, Esau Edom being profane, which means what? Outside the temple. Okay. That's why um, he's known also as the vilest and the mo and the basis of men. Okay. But Yahabah Shemashai rules in the basis of men. Okay. As far as rules in the kingdom of, of, of men. Okay. Yahabah Shemashai control controls left and right. And he controls Esau Edom as far as to uh, be that whipping stick um, on our people that don't want to listen. Okay. Profane, hypocrite. Right. Impious. OK, which you go into that word to see if I can get it. They don't worship. I believe it's you don't worship. Yeah. Not showing respect. Impious. Impious. Not showing respect or reverence, especially for uh, a God. OK, which our, our God is what Yahabah Shem OK. OK. Um, you know, which is the Most High. The Heavenly Father has a name and his name is Yahweh. OK, and they are impious in the society, not showing respect or reverence. What do they show respect to? Um, you know, the so-called white men, they show respect to uh, JC, you know, that that white pale face image. OK, showing you that uh, who is in power. Yeah, the un, yeah, impious, ungodly. And that's exactly who Esau Edom is. OK, and our people have followed the ways of the wicked. OK, let's see if they have any more on this. Strong's H, 2610, Hanaf, Hanaf. Yep, to be profound, to be defiled, to be polluted, to be corrupt, 
okay? And when you go into Black Lives Matter, which I'm going to go into the article, okay, you have where these, um, you know, the people that were at the top were woman on woman, okay? And they were all, they've all, um, not all of them, but I think like at least three of them have been caught for, um, you know, scheming and plotting, not using the funds that they got donated to them uh, the correct way. They're sitting up in Beverly Hills, you know, buying buying mansions. Meanwhile, our people are still suffering in the ghettos, barrios, and the reservations. Okay, and that's what our people do. They sell out for the smallest of things, you know, for a little bit of money, which ultimately will be their destruction because riches profit you not in the day of wrath. Okay, and the Lord is sending forth his judgment. He's not prolonging his word anymore, and he's bringing the plagues upon this earth. Why? Because our people have walked in wickedness. Okay, this 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 earth is defiled and it needs to be cleansed. And that's going to be with that firing agent, okay, which is the hypersonic missiles and then the um, the chariot on the top with the laser beams of fire, okay? And also in that great destruction, there will be a great deliverance. And we're praying that we're Ottawa and Rataza, that we're of that number, okay? To be for, be, to be profane, be godless, to pollute, to make profane, to make godless. And that's exactly what Esau Edom is. He's godless, okay? Because what the fool has said in his heart, there is no God, okay? Um, Isaiah, uh, Slakia, um, Psalms 14 and 1, roughly paraphrasing that, okay? And he is what known also as a bastard, because the Lord what chastised the ones that he loves, and Esau Edom is a bastard, okay? But by the time Esau Edom gets chastised or gets punished, okay, he will be in fetters, irons, and chains, and he will be hardcore slavery for a thousand years, okay? And after that thousand year period, they will be um, exiled, they will be exterminated. Okay, they will be blotted out. Okay, as it speaks about in Deuteronomy uh, 25. Okay, and that's in the second book of the law. Yeah, so it says this word Strong's 8 78 10 Shohad. Shohad. So that's that, that's that word of uh, bribery. Okay, it says present, bribe. Okay, redemptive, bribery, a gift. A reward, and, a, and it says in the scriptures, you know, a gift destroyed the heart, okay? Because it makes you, um, you know, you get a certain amount of money, and these people were getting millions and thousands of dollars, okay, from these different companies to push forth Black Lives Matter. I believe it yes, said 74 million, okay? And then they split it up between the people that were pushing forth the agenda. That was all a scheme and a plot to um, have people um, be arrested, to be tracked, okay? And ultimately to put our people in a, in a bad light, okay? To give for a present, a bribe, a ransom, offer gifts, okay? To donate, hire, give a reward, okay? So that's the Hebrew word 7809, sahad, okay? And that's that word for bribery. And that's what they do. They bribe our people, okay? So let's read this again in the NLT. It says, for the godless are barren, okay? Going into barren, going into desolate. OK, everything, um, even back in Genesis four, it speaks about, you know, they shall plant, but nothing shall nothing shall grow. OK, roughly paraphrasing that. And that's what the same society that they want now. They want you to, um, you know, have babies, um, you know, through, uh, um, you know, through their technology. OK, they want you to, um, you know, be man on man, woman on woman transformer, which creates a barren society, creates a, a desolate society. OK. It says, for the godless are barren, their homes enriched through bribery will burn, okay? Going into the hypersonic missiles, okay? Um, yeah, their homes are enriched, okay, through what the bribes, the schemes, you know, the political atmosphere, the celebrities, they're all bribed. You know, all the celebrities, they got to touch their toes, okay? Um, you know, uh, all these politicians, the same thing. They got to engage in, you know, frazzle dripping. They got to engage in uh, pedestry. Uh, bestiality, okay, to, to be anybody in the society, far as um, anybody that has a, a, a so-called status, okay, but the true riches are the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, okay, that can be able to guide you and <clears throat> give you direction. It says, uh, 35, they conceive mischief and bring forth vanity, and their belly departeth the seat, okay, Let's read this in the NLT. It says they conceive trouble and give birth to evil. Their womb produces deceit. And during that Black Lives Matter um, BS, you had the George Floyd thing. And then you had a bunch of killings of our people. Okay. And the Lord is the one that sent forth that hit. 
Okay. And then we know that the, um, the George Floyd was, a, um, you know, believed to be an inside job because he had masonry all over him. He was, a, he was a crackhead. He was, a um, you know, uh, uh, a drug dealer. He was a porn star. He was, uh, he was everything that the Lord hates. Okay. And they put him out there like he was such an innocent guy. Okay. And, and they had the, um, far as him putting the neck on the guy. Okay. Um, and that was even Masonic in, in, in that sense. Okay. That there was Masonic, uh, uh, things all over that. Okay. As far as that, what, what happened. Okay. And that was able to push our people to be out in these streets, you know, marching. Okay. Which the Lord doesn't want you to march in the street. Okay, the Lord wants you to um, learn, get this understanding and go out there and preach this word. Okay, waking up our people. Eat the whole roll and go out and teach my people Israel. He doesn't want you marching in the street. He doesn't want you marching around the Barclays Center. Okay, marching has never done anything for our people. Okay, that's not our heritage. That's not what the Lord wants. Okay, but our people are simple and they believe that marching, fighting for a... Um, uh, um, you know, a nation, you know, fighting for a nation that will never help you. Okay. You know, they will help in vain. <clears throat> okay. And through the bribery, our people have gone, you know, rough ways. Okay. So let's go back to the article. Bear with me. Yeah. Fighting for a nation that will never help you. There's a couple of scriptures that came to mind. This is a uh, Micah. You know, trusting in our oppressor that shall help in vain. This is Micah 2 and 10. It says, Micah 2 and 10, arise and depart, for this is not your rest, but it is polluted. It shall destroy you even with a sore destruction. So anytime that you trust in the society, okay, that, that you're going to enter into a trap and a snare, okay? Um, because Esau Edom is not to be trusted, but our people have, again, followed the ways of the wicked, okay? There's also another scripture that speaks about... um. This is Isaiah 30 and 15. Yeah, Isaiah 30 and 12. It says, Wherefore thus said, Holy One of Israel, because you despise this word and trust in oppression, perverseness, and stay therein. Therefore, this iniquity shall be to you as a breach, ready to fall, swelling at the high wall, whose breaking coming suddenly at an instant. Okay, so anybody that trusts in Esau, Edom, that's what's going to happen. You're going to break um, in an instant. Okay, and that's the people that, you know, took these bribes from um, these different banks, which are, we know to be Esau, Edom, because the earth is given into the hands of the wicked and he would have the fatness of the earth. OK, so it says in the wake of a collapse of the 16th largest bank in the U.S., many are speculating as what led to the sudden spe spectacular downfall of Silicon Valley Bank. <clears throat> Some have pointed to a faulty risk management strategy, while others have blamed a classic bank run. Still, others have blamed the company's commitment to democratic causes like diversity, equity and inclusion, DEI, -I -I -D -E as the culprit. In particular, Spicy Take in, in Wall Street, Andy suggested that the company's pride in the makeup of its board. Yeah, so the pride. Okay. Um, let's get a scripture on that. This nation has come very proud, just like Esau Edom is. Okay. Let's, let me just type in this word pride. We'll just read a couple of them. Yep. This is... Uh, Psalms 10 and 2, the wicked in his pride do persecute the poor. Let them be taken in the devices that they have imagined. So with those devices they have imagined, which are wicked schemes and plots to fund these different um, different groups, okay, this is going to lead to a uh, sedition of the people, okay, which is ultimately what they want, order out of chaos. But what they're doing, Esau, Edom is doing, he's destroying his own, um, uh, um, his own, um, you know, kingdom, okay, he's defiling his own kingdom. You know, going into, um, you know, the, the Yahweh Shema Shai is shortening the days for the elect's sake because there would be no um, no no more flesh to save if this devil was, uh, um, you know, to stay in power. 
Because what is he doing? He, he wants to fight against these different nations in these hypersonic wars, which is going to lead to all out death. OK, and if there's not a, 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 you know, a standard lifted. If we're not, you know, that standard is going to be lifted, but we're praying that we're of that standard, you know, that we're of that number to be lifted. OK, because this devil wants to destroy his own kingdom. He puts barium aluminum in the air. He destroys his own people. He, he um, you know, kills his own people. OK, it says Psalms 10 and 4, the wicked through the pride of his countenance will not seek after the most high. The most high is not in all their thoughts. You know, going back to um, Cain um, face being turned away from Yahweh Shemar Hashai, meaning that he would never or Yahweh Shemar Hashai, Sakia, Yahweh Shemar Hashai's face turned away from Cain, meaning he would never have the understanding. OK, because he was created to be the wicked. This is uh, Psalms 59 and 12 for the sin of their mouth and their words of their lips. Let them even be taken in their pride and for cursing and lying, which they speak. That's what they do. They lie. They say that they are the uh, the people that are speaks about in the scriptures. OK, but it doesn't attain to none of the curses that it, that it speaks about in the scriptures. They lie. They call us black. They call us, uh, uh, you know, Latinx. They call us all these different proverbs and bywords. OK, which is not who we are. OK. They say that they are the people when they're not. Okay, they say something's. Um, let me get a scripture. This is uh, Isaiah. <clears throat> Isaiah 5 and 20. Woe unto them that call evil good and good evil, that put darkness for light and light for darkness, that put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. Okay, and America means bitter. And we're, um, you know, in this society, we're in the flesh. Okay, and we're an oppressor is over us, okay? And we're praying, Yahabah Shema Shai, um, that we're able to be preserved to the end because the Lord is showing us mer mercy and truth through this understanding. And he set us free far as in our in our, in our minds. He gave us the mind of a Mashiach, Yahabah Shai HaMashiach, okay? But we're still, um, you know, subject to payments. We're still under the curses, okay? And this devil is pushing forth, um, you know, calling good evil and evil good. Okay, turning things what upside down. And one of the things is calling us, you know, these proverbs and vi words. Okay, calling them, they're the good people when they're actually the wicked and calling us evil when we're actually the righteous. Okay, when we're, when we're in our um, true estate. Okay, going, in, going into their pride. All right. So I'm going to get a couple more about pride. This is, um, this is, yeah, this is the one I wanted. It says Proverbs 16 and 8, pride go before destruction and the haughty spirit before a fall. Yep. So there's going to be a great destruction. All eyes shall see. Okay. Um, haughty again goes into proud. And what are they doing? They're boasting against the most high, saying they have immortality. Um, we don't need no God. Okay. We are, we are the gods, you know, just trust us. Okay. You know, follow the ways, um, you know, just take the sea hip. Everything will be all right. Okay. This is another scripture, reminds me of uh, Isaiah 26 and 10. Isaiah 26 and 10, let favor uh, be showed to the wicked, yet will he not learn righteousness in the land of the uprighteous. He will deal unjustly and he will not behold the majesty of Yahweh. So he will not do the judgments of, of Yahweh. That's why they have um, the constitution, okay, the commandments. Okay, which which uh, all those the, the true commandments are the scriptures, but they go against all of them. They swear on the Bible, which they're not supposed to. Okay, they they um you know put unrighteous decrees. They push forth man on man, woman on woman. You know, transformer mentality. They push the sea hip. Okay, the karabma, which is something that's physical. Okay, everything they push is what um the shaitan, which Satan goes into what adversary, which goes into um what they are their adversary they are the adversary to what righteousness okay and they are as the the they um the devil which is the what the deceiver and that's esau edom in the flesh the so-called white men of today okay it says okay so company's pride in the makeup of its board svb notes that besides 91 percent of their board being independent 45 percent women that also have one black one um you read it 
It says, and two veterans may have been the real uh, culprit. Yeah. Again, a woman is also a woman is not supposed to be above you. OK, the woman is what the weaker vessel. OK. And so but that they push that issue because they want um, that was also another one of their plots, which was what um, having the woman be above the man. OK, knowing that the woman is the weaker vessel, a lot of our people and now our people have become uh, uh, feminized because they've been raised by their mother and they didn't have their father in their life going into the curses that we would be under. OK. Uh, Kessler's piece got a hefty dose of online backlash, but there is no evidence for the go woke, go broke theory of SB, SVBs downfall, or at least the theory that it focuses on racial issues exposed. Something important about its business acumen or lack thereof. A database created by Claremont Institute revealed that SVBD, SVB either donated or pledged to donate almost $74 million to organizations affiliated with um, Black Lives Matter. Okay? And we know that... <clears throat> right here. It's funded by George Soros, which George Soros is is a puppet for the elites. He goes around these different countries and what he what he does is he'll he'll um go and talk to the people, basically tell them, hey, it, get down or lay down. If you don't get down, we're gonna come in, we're gonna we're gonna have a coup or we're gonna have we're gonna knock off your president and then we'll put up our own president. But if you follow what we say, we'll give you this this money. Okay. And that's what they did with these different people that they got in power or as far as the, the BLM. And the reason why I'm touching on this is because the corruption that our people follow, they follow Esau Edom. They think that he is the most high. OK, they have Stockholm syndrome. OK, this is a Soros alleged support of Black Lives Matter, a resurgence on social media. OK, and also I remember him speaking about he wanted to combat. Um, those that are speaking against um, George Soros and also uh, against the um, the uh, World Economic Forum, okay? And far as um, to you know make laws, you know um, framing mischief by law. Far as um, you know what if you're speaking against what they're pushing, okay? It says if your time is short, a representative for Soros Open Society Foundations to a political fact that it has no not directly given money to Black Lives Matter, again, going into the line, right? The 33 million figure is old. It comes from a Washington Times article that pointed to Soros donations to social justice groups, several of which were active before the founding of BLM. So what do they do is they just have shell companies and then those shell companies fund these other companies, okay? Because they own all the businesses, right? And that was from the Washington Times, which is obviously a big, uh, uh, um, you know, um, you know, a big uh, paper. OK, and that's just them uh, condemning themselves as far as because they like to talk about their crimes. They like to talk about their murders. OK, they like to um, let me get a scripture. Let me, yeah, let me, let me start from a couple of different scriptures. This is Job and their own people are, are, are being the whistleblowers. It says, Job 15 and six, thy own mouth condemneth thee, going into judge of thee. And not I, yea, I, yea, thy own lips testify against thee. So their own lips testify against them. Okay. And the job of a prophet is to expose them um, through the scriptures. Okay, what they're making plain upon the table. Psalm 68. Oh, I'm tripping. Psalm 64 and 8. It says, they shall make their own tongue to fall upon themselves and all that see them shall flee away because they own the Washington paper. So why would they put that out? Okay, because again, George Soros controls these different uh, people as far as the platforms. And then when they come out, they come out, um, you know, what controls opposition. What they'll do is say, oh, that's not true. OK, but this devil has to tell you what he's doing before he actually puts it out. OK. It says conservative commentators have tied liberal billionaire philanthropist 
George Soros to Black Lives Matter for years, long before the murder of George Floyd cap catapulted the group a forefront of the struggle for ra racial justice. And going back to that, this is Psalm 64, 5. It says, they encourage themselves in an evil matter. They commune of laying snares. They privily say, who shall see them? They search out iniquities. They accomplish a diligent search. Both their inward thought of every one of them and their heart is deep. So they go to different countries, okay, and do these coups and do these plots. And they study history, okay, and how they can be able to infiltrate certain businesses, how they can be able to infiltrate uh, um, uh, the people through their enchantments. OK, their enchantments that they push and they'll they'll wait years and years to push it up to pull, you know, to, um, you know, make it to the, come to the light. Let me get a scripture. This is Micah two, Micah two and one. Woe unto them. Woe means destruction unto them that devise iniquity and work evil upon their beds. When the morning is light, they practice it because it is in the power, the power of their head. So going into they'll have an evil thought. And what they'll do is they'll go to their laboratories, they'll go to their think tanks, and they'll have the people, you know, uh, basically, um, you know, um, you know, throw ideas on the board as far as what they can be able to do. Oh, we did this back then. We did this back then. Going into that deep search. Okay. And this this BLM um, and also BLM is connected to Antifa, which is also connected to George Soros, which is connected to the elites. And what these groups do is the same thing. Um, they, they gather people together and what do they do? They start to arrest certain people that are, that are gathered in these uh, groups. Okay. Okay. Going into, um, accuser thy brethren. Okay. And our weapons of warfare are not, uh, the weapons of warfare, Saki, our weapons of warfare are not cardinal. Okay. A cardinal mind is enmity with the Lord. Our weapon is the scriptures that's able to wound our adversaries. And that's what's happening right now. The adversaries are getting wounded. Okay. So they have to come up with these, um, you know, these different, also you have, uh, you know, some claims lack any evidence like Candace Owens falsely said Soros. Yeah. So she's a setup. Candace Owens, you know, she's always, they're always pushing that, you know, um, like they act like she's a, a so-called woke person. Okay. When she's a, um, insider. Okay. They have a thing called controlled opposition, right? Yeah. I don't know. It's sloppy. I'm trying to get this out of the page. Yep. So, yeah, Candace Owen. Let's see. All right. So that that's that's good. We get the point. And also, what happened with these people? Okay, that took the bribes. It says BLM activists accused executive of stealing ten million in donor funds. So that was one of the guys. Okay, Bowers. Right. Then you also have the. Um, I believe it was the two other ones. The two other. Um, you know, woman on woman. OK, that was also another thing that they push. You know, I didn't I didn't bring it up, but um, I remember when um, that came out and brothers went on that site and it showed that they were pushing an agenda of the um, the man on man, the woman on woman transformers. OK, showing you that our people have become just like the wicked. And it speaks about why. Let me get a couple of scriptures. This is. Um, Let me get this one first. Jeremiah 4 and 22. For my people is foolish. They have not known me. They are sottish, which sottish means stupid. Okay, let me read this in NLT. It says, my people are foolish and do not know me, says the Lord. They are stupid children who have no understanding. They are, they are clever enough at doing wrong, but they have no idea how to do right. Yeah, so they're clever enough to run a scheme, to run a plot. And, and, and then prey on our people as far as our people, um, you know, have, have compassion for others. Okay. They have a compassion, but what happens is, is we're played on those emotions because we're in poverty. Okay. Because we're under the curses and uh, Esau Edom plays on that and he uses certain people out of our, um, you know, communities to, to be leaders and they're not leaders at all because the true leaders are the prophets. Okay, the prophets that have this knowledge, wisdom, understanding, because they have the secrets of the scriptures. Okay, and our people have become what wax and cold, far as in wickedness. They become more. Let me just get it. Jeremiah five and twenty eight, and I'm reading this NLT first. It says they are fat and sleek. There is no limit to their wicked deeds. They refuse to provide justice to orphans and deny the rights of the poor. 
Okay, let's read this in on T. It says, they are waxing fat, they shine, yeah, they overpass the deeds of the wicked. They judge not the cause, the cause of the fatherless, yet they prosper in the right of the needy. Do they not judge? It says, shall I not visit for these things? That's a question, right? Said the Lord, Yahweh, shall not my soul be avenged on such a nation as this? Yeah, because our nation uh, has played the harlot. Okay, played the harlot, you know, falling after these false gods and false idols, you know, uh, worshiping of money. Okay, which all leads to destruction. Because again, true riches are um as this is the scriptures okay let me just get a uh, quick scripture this is uh three yep proverbs 3 and 13 happy is the man that find the wisdom and the man that get understanding for the merchandise of it is better than merchandise of silver and the gain thereof than fine gold she is more precious then the rubies and all the things thou canst desire are not to be compared unto her. And her is speaking about wisdom. The length of days is in her right hand and her left hand riches and honor. Her ways, her ways are, her ways are ways of plentiness and her paths are peace. She is a tree of life to them that lay hold upon her and happy is every one that retaineth her. Yep. And this wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of this time. Not the riches of this world, because the riches of this world are going to be destroyed. Isaiah 33 and 6, And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times, and the strength of thy salvation, and the fear of Yahweh is his treasure. Okay, I was watching a video today, I believe it was GS, GMS uh, Holland sit-downs, um, and they brought out this, um, you know, speaking about the word stability, okay, which the word stability goes into uh, Amma 1. Let me get it real quick. I believe it means faith. <coughs> yeah, so this word Hebrew. Strong's H530. Emunah. Emunah. Slakia. Emunah. Firmness. Steadfastness. Steadiness. So how are you going to be able to be steady? By standing upon the rock of our Lord Yahweh Shai. Okay. Right here. So it says Hebrews. Strong's H529. A moon. A moon. Yep. Faithfulness. Trusting. Faithful. Tr trusty. So good. Going into trusting in who? Yahabba Shemar Shai. Trusting in our Lord. Okay. Stability. Faith. Full tr full trust. Full truth. This, yeah, this is Strong's H 539. A man. A man. A man, which means what? Faith. Okay, that going into the root of the word. Support, confirm, be faithful. Support, confirm, be faithful. Uphold, nourish, foster, to be established, to be faithful, to be carried, make firm. Okay, to nurse. And we're being nursed by this word. We're being nourished by this word. Okay, it speaks about that wisdom of Solomon 16 and 26. The word what nourish you, nourish you, okay, gives you health. To stand firm, to trust, to be certain, to believe in, okay? And who's that believing in? Yahweh Shem Shai, not trusting in men, okay? And that is our, our treasure, to fear the Lord. That is our stability. Let's get a scripture. This is Psalms 118. And... Psalms 118 and 8. It is better to trust in Yahweh than to put confidence in men. Okay? It is better to trust in Yahweh than to put confidence in princes. Okay? And that's what our people do. They trust in um, these certain uh, cult of personalities that are set up. They trust in, um, you know, uh, uh, Bill Gates. They think he's smart. Okay? Meanwhile, he's trying to kill him. Okay? And also another scripture that comes to mind, just a quick one. 17 and... It says, John, uh, Slaki, Jeremiah 17 and 5, thus said, Yahweh, cursed be the man that trusted man and make his flesh his arm and whose heart depart from Yahweh, for he shall be like the heath in the desert. Okay, going into being desolate. You're not going to, you're not, then this, this uh, word is known as water. He that believe in me shall flow rivers of living water. Okay, 
If you don't have this water, you're going to be what? Desolate. Okay, you're going to be a uh, heath. And shall not see when good cometh, but shall inhabit the parched places in the wilderness and a salt land and not inhabit it. Seven, blessed is the man that trusts in Yahweh, whose hope is Yahweh is. Okay, for, for he shall be as a tree planted by the waters and that spread out the roots by the river and shall not see when it heat cometh. But her leaf shall be green and shall not be careful in the year of drought. Neither shall they cease from the yielding of fruit. The heart is yeah, cut. So you're going into, you're going to be able to have that water. You're going to be able to have fruit. You're going to be able to be saved. Lord, out of one rot, the were of that number. And the ones that trusted in Esau, Edom, they're going to get the plagues that are in this book. Okay, so going back to the article. Yeah, it says, of course, they were not alone. SVB was one of the several high profile corporations that exploited the murder of George Floyd. So, again, they made money off our, our, our death. OK, they made money off our struggle, off our blood, sweat and tears. OK, this is the murder of George Floyd to to endear themselves to the public by pretending they care about the plight of black Americans, which, again, black means void of light and American means bitter. OK, we're not black. There's that's a social construct, a false social construct that Esau Edom put in place to put him on high and to put us on low. OK, we're different shades of brown. It says along with many other companies, SVBD. And uh, let me get let me get a scripture. This is Deuteronomy 28. And this would be this is the curses right here. Okay, so you have uh, Deuteronomy 28, you know, 1 through uh, Deuteronomy 28, 1 through 14, I believe. 1 through 14, all the blessings if we follow Yahweh Shema Shai. But if we um, diso we were being disobedient, if we would follow the other ways of the heathen, okay, 15 through 68 would be the curses that would fall upon us. Okay. All right, but I want to just get to the, I'm going to get to the point. It says, Deuteronomy 28 and 37, and thou shalt become an astonishment, a proverb, and a byword among all nations, whether Yahweh shall lead thee. So again, a byword is a name that's not your real name. Okay, you will become black. You will become Latinx. You will become uh, uh, Native American. Okay, you will become uh, Puerto Rican. These are all uh, bywords. That's not, those are all nicknames. That's not actually who we are. We're actually what the Hebrew Israelites According to the, you know, the, uh, the pedigree of your father and, and what, what tribe you come from. Okay. But we are what a nation of people. Okay. Which are the Hebrew Israelites. Deuteronomy 28 and 37 in the NLT. You will become an object of horror, ridicule, and mockery among all nations to which Yahweh sends you. Yep. And that's what we're seen as. We're seen as the, uh, the pimps. We're seen as the drug dealers. Okay. Um, you know, of society. The, the, the wicked of the wicked. OK, meanwhile, Esau Edom is the one that sells the drug, brings the drugs to the community. He's the one that uh, brings forth the guns. OK, and our people are in, in a low estate, so they follow follow those ways. OK, they're on me 28 because they're under the curses. Draw me 28 and 41. Thou shalt begot sons and daughters and thou shalt not enjoy them for they shall go into captivity. OK, <clears throat> that's speaking about in slavery. But also, what of our people uh, happens to our people? Our people end up going into prison uh, for years and years for for um, sometimes for, you know, um, you know, really bad crimes, but sometimes for very small crimes. OK, and they get in that prison system and then they become slaves to the um, to Esau Edom. You know, we're all subject to payments, but when you go and go into prison or these different jails, they're getting paid like uh, 10 cents, you know, 10 cents an hour. You know, a couple dollars a, a day. Okay, if that. Okay. It says, uh, Deuteronomy 28. Slock you. Deuteronomy 28 and 41. Deuteronomy 28 and 41. It says, he shall lend to thee, and thou shalt not lend to him. He shall be the head, and thou shalt be the tail. Going into our people being our, uh, you know, last hired, first fired, 
Okay, we 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 you know strive to get different houses. What do they do? They um put a um I believe it was the red zones. Okay, where they're able to um uh you know basically I believe it was red line. I'm slacky. I'm not uh I can look it up. But basically, what they did is they um had certain Jake neighborhoods, and the Jake neighborhoods wouldn't have trees or wouldn't have fruits. And what they would do is they would uh you know, make the, the value of, of the neighborhood go down. Okay. They have a thing called, um, a gentrification today. Okay. That they do what they'll do is they'll, they'll make a neighborhood so bad with drugs and, and, you know, have, um, you know, homelessness and a bunch of killings and all these different things. And what they'll do is they'll, they'll kick everybody out, you know, the projects, they'll kick everybody out. And then what they'll do is they'll, uh, sell it for low. And then they'll start putting Starbucks, bookstores, and things like that, going into gentrification, okay? Let me see if I can get that, Slocky. Yeah, so yeah, it was called uh, redlining. It says, the term has come to mean racial discrimination of any kind in housing, but it comes from the government maps that outline areas that were, uh, you know, so-called black people were in, okay? And... That's what they were doing, redlining certain areas, just like they do right now. If you're in a Jake neighborhood, what if, if a Jake moves into the neighborhood, okay, the, the price goes down in that area, okay, and they still do that. Deuteronomy 28 and 45, it says, Moreover, all these curses shall come upon thee, and thou shalt pursue thee and overtake thee, till thou be destroyed, because thou hast hearkened not unto the voice of Yahweh thy power to keep thy commandments and the statutes which he commanded thee. Okay, this is the one I want to get right here, 46. And they shall be upon thee for a sign and for a wonder and upon the seed forever okay we would be known as the ghettos vadios and, and reservations where people don't want to go they only want to go there for drugs or or, or or prostitution okay they don't want to live in those neighborhoods they want to live far far away and what do they what does esau Edom do with his houses he puts gates up gates up okay him going into him trusting in his high fence okay and it speaks about that in the scriptures too, you know, um, you know, a rich man will, will trust in his, um, you know, his high fence. Okay. But those fences are going to be what to uh, put down. Okay. I can get that real quick. This is, uh, and I'll come back to that. This is Proverbs 18 and 11. Proverbs 18 11, it says the rich man's wealth is his strong city and his high wall is his own conceit. Yeah, so he believes that his, his carnality, you know, his money can be able to save him from this destruction. Okay, and that's going to be a, his trap and a snare. It says 12, before destruction, the heart of a man is haughty and before honor is humility. So these guys are laughing, joking. They're, they're like 150 years old. They're smiling. They're, 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 their face is decrepit. Okay, their countenance is gone. Okay, and but they believe they still got it because the Lord has still, uh, um, you know, has um, given them power uh, for a certain period of time. But now that time is is um, at a, at its end. Okay, because the prophets are on the scene. So going back to this, this is uh, Deuteronomy twenty eight and. 46 in the NLT, it says, these horrors will serve as signs and warning among you and descendants forever. Going in so you would know who the people are under the curses, okay? And it ain't the, the so-called white people, okay? It ain't these so-called uh, uh, Ishmaelites, these the Elamites, okay? It ain't the so-called Mobites, okay? Or Sasakian, not the so the so-called Chinese, which are the Mobites, okay? It's not the, the Elamites, which are what the Persians, okay? They all have... They all eat of the blood, sweat, and tears. They're all part of it, okay? Goes into um, Lamentations 2 and 16. They hiss and they wag at the, at the daughters of Zion, okay? Deuteronomy 28 and 47, it says, Because thou servest not Yahweh thy power with joyfulness and with gladness in the heart for the abundance of all things, therefore thou shalt serve thy enemies, which Yahweh shall send against thee in hunger and thirst and nakedness, and want of all things, and he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until he have destroyed thee. Okay, so now that happened in, um, when we were in slavery, you know, going into that, um, 
you know, that, that metal being around our neck. And now what well, we have those those paper yokes around our, on our neck. OK, going into the uh, social credit, uh, social security card, going into the, uh, the birth certificate. And we would be what subject to payments and our people, um, you know, they're, they're royalty. OK, so they want things, but they but they get them in a wicked way. OK, and then one of them is, is is taking money from Esau Edom. It says SVB signaled their virtue by declaring that they would pour oodles of cash into causes designed to help yep, the so-called black community. It says of only took a few years after the George Floyd riots to find out that many of these aligned with the so-called Black Lives Matter movement were not exactly on the up and up. They're especially true of foundation, which has um, it says uh, which has seen more than its share of scandals. OK, 2020, the organization reportedly purchased a luxury mansion in Southern California for almost five million. Not only that group uh, uh, tried to hide this purchase so that they press did not find it out about it. A New York magazine article noted that the issue has been handled in ways that blur across boundaries between uh, charity and private companies owned by some of their leaders. Then in early 2021, the organization came under scrutiny for how it's handled its finances. One of the several instances in which the group was found to have been getting funny with the money. OK, it says um, skipping down, it says the chapters raised a fuss about the global organization, accusing them of mismanaging tens of millions of dollars that had been donated to the group. They claimed only about six percent went to local chapters with volunteers on the ground working on benefit of the communities. <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean? So again, only 6% of that money. So out of 74 million, only 6%. So not even a, not even a million went to the ground. Okay. They shall help in vain. Okay. Um, and that goes into what seeking for a nation that shall never help you. Okay. Let me see if I can get that slot here. That's um I can get this one. Isaiah 30 and 2. It says, They walk to go down to Egypt and have not asked in my mouth. They strengthen themselves in the strength of Pharaoh and trust in the shadow of Egypt. Therefore, shall the strength of Pharaoh be your shame and the trust in the shadow of Egypt your confusion? Okay. It says, Seven, for the Egyptians shall help in vain and to no purpose. Therefore, I have cried concerning this. Their strength is to sit still. Okay. So the modern day uh, Egyptian is what America today. And the modern day Pharaoh is the so called white man of today. And those that trust in the modern day Egyptian, that's going to be their uh, downfall. Okay. Going into these people that have uh, um, followed the ways of the heathen. It says, Matter Global is a crooked as hell. One of the group's leaders was accused of stealing a copious sum of cash. In fact, he is believed that he had made off with almost $10 million in donations. Okay, Bauer, Shalama Bowers was called in court, uh, filing as rogue administrator, a middleman turned uh, a super. What is that? Usurper. A person who takes position of power and importance illegally by force, by force. So again, going into our people have waxed and they, be, they follow the ways of the wicked. That's how Esau Edom is. He uses his force, his power, okay, which is his sword. It says contributions to the nonprofit activist group to use as personal piggy bank, according to the lawsuit filed in Los Angeles court Thursday, according to Los Angeles Yep. So again, our people trusting in, in wickedness and they and Esau Edom uses uh, these different uh, uh, companies or these different, um, you know, uh, uh, groups to, to lead our people astray. OK. That's why it speaks about um, our people are destroyed for what lack of knowledge. And the Lord's going to what? Reject them. It says Hosea 4 and 6. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge because they have rejected knowledge. I will also reject thee. Thou shalt not be no priest to me, seeing thou hast forgotten the law of the Most High. Yahweh will also forget thy children. OK, 
Okay, going into the Lord's gonna uh, forget you. Um, you know when when the destruction comes upon you. Okay, this is Proverbs one and thirty. Proverbs one and thirty. It says they would. It says they would none of my counsel. They despise all my reproof. And the men of the Lord are on the highways and the byways, but they despise the reproof. It says, therefore, they shall eat the fruit of their own way and be filled with their own devices. Yes, yeah, so their own wicked schemes. Let me give you this in NLT, starting from 30. It says, they rejected my advice. Okay, who has the advice? The prophets. They've been, the Lord touched their mouth and they're giving forth what the, uh, the, um, the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. Okay, and paid no attention when I corrected them, going into the chastising, chastising that our Lord has been doing to our people, but they don't want to hearken. So they go the way of Esau, Edom, because they are the, they are uh, come like the wicked. 31, therefore they must eat the bitter fruit of the living their own way, choking on their own schemes. Okay. And that's the scheme that that guy Bowen was going into. And also those transformers or the, those man on man, what, woman on woman, whatever. Right. 32. If it says for simpletons turn away from me to death, fools destroyed by their own complacency. Yeah, so they're controlled by their own lust of the belly. Okay, it says, but those who hearken unto me shall dwell safely and shall be quiet from the fear of evil. Okay, so the ones that hearken, the ones that listen, the ones that pay attention. Okay, and I'll end it in this scripture. This is Psalms 138 and 7. Psalms 138 and 7, though I walk in the midst of trouble, thou wilt revive me, thou shalt stretch forth thy hand against thy wrath of thy enemies, and thy right hand shall save me. The Lord Yahweh will perfect that which concerneth me, the mercy, O Yahweh, endure forever, forsake not the works of thy own hands. Okay, and we're praying that we're in the uh, in the mercy seat. Let's read this in the NLT in uh, 7, and I'll end it right here. Psalms 138 and 7, though I am surrounded by troubles, you will protect me from the anger of my enemies. You reach out your hand and the power of your right hand saves me. Yes, yeah, so the power of the right hand, which is what Yahweh Shai. And actually, let me uh, read this. This is Zechariah 13 and 8. Because the ones that the ones that don't follow the ways of the wicked, you know, don't take those bribes are going to be able to uh, be saved. This is Zechariah 13 and 9. And it says, I will bring the third part through the fire. Okay, going into the adversity. The third part goes into the one third, the remnant, the elect. And I will refine them as silver is refined, and I will try them as gold is tried. Okay, going into your uh, being tested. And how do you test gold? You put it in uh, fire. Okay, and if it comes out in the image of, and it comes out when you know it's done, it comes out in the image of the creator. Okay, and that's how we want to be like the image of, of our Lord Yahweh Shemar Mashai. It says, I will try them as gold is tried. They shall call on my name, going until we would know the name, Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, okay? And I will hear them, okay? Hear my sheep, hear my voice, okay? And the Lord, what hears you as far as your supplications that are going out because he's giving you the spirit of a Mashiach to be able to, um, uh, 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 you know, the spiritual tools to be able to uh, pray to the Lord and call upon the correct name. I will hear them. I will say, it is my people. And they shall say, oh, Yahweh, is my power Yahweh Bashem Yahushai? So with that, call Allah Yahweh Bashem Yahushai Bashem Rakakwadash. Shalom to the elect. Kwam Yashalom.